Hello everybody and today we are at ITMAR 2023 and we are here on the Coldenhove stand with Frederica and Geisberg from the team. On day, what, where are we? Day five? I thought I lost You've count. Lost count. <laughs> yeah, I think it's six already. Okay, okay. Feels so, like nine. <laughs> so many great innovations and amongst all of those we of course have paper and yes. transfer paper and that's what we'd like to discuss today. Okay, new developments, what's changed, what's the market requesting and what innovations have you brought to the show this year? So when it comes to the sublimation transfer paper, we actually have three new products, which is, which is pretty remarkable, I would say. Uh -huh. um, we are focusing on two main markets. One is sports and the other one is fashion. Uh -huh. When it comes to the fashion market, we are introducing a new product with a lighter grammage. Um, I will let Heisberg tell you a little bit more details about that. Okay. And when it comes to the sportswear market instead, we have two new products. One is a paper with extremely uh, good drying properties. And the other one is still for the, sp for the sportswear market, a paper with a uh, tack level, so okay. sticky paper. Okay. And why one and one the other, I'll also let Heisberg uh, say that. <laughs> yes. Okay, glad to do that. over to you. Glad to do that. <laughs> Let's start with the fashion. Uh -huh. As you know, fashion is a big part of the whole dust yeah. information yeah. market. Uh -huh. uh, and what we see is that grammages is going down, slowly going down. Uh, why are grammages going down? Uh, a lot of people think about cost, of course. Okay. Uh, that's one aspect. Um, but also, uh, you have longer runs. Uh, okay. And you can maybe use a, bit, a little bit less energy to transfer, to sublimate the image from the paper to a polyester. Okay, but as you say, with volume, that's cumulative. Yes. That, that becomes a lot of energy over that's time. Correct. Yeah, okay. If you thicker paper, you might need a little longer transfer time. Uh -huh. And with a thinner paper, it goes a little faster. Okay. And for that we have designed a 37 gram paper, mm -hmm. which is meeting more the demands of our customers. Uh, they currently use a 45 gram often, okay. um, and we're going to go down to 37, but still give them the opportunity to print more or less the whole spectrum of their fashion designs. Dark to light. Yes, yeah, so okay. very thin, light yeah. color, yeah. like beige or whatever. Yeah. Or which you could also use a thinner paper, uh -huh. but also if somebody has flowery stuff and they want to print that, that also the 37 gram paper is suitable. So you have just one paper which is universal for all the fashion. But you're getting really deep tones and really bright, vibrant colors yes. there too. Yes, yeah. that's Very one of the specialties. Eh, of what we say is that you can keep the properties of uh, the 45 GSM, which is a paper that is already widely utilized uh -huh. in the market. Uh -huh with a lower grammage. So it's not right. that we are replacing a current product, but we are giving the customer the possibility to go lighter. Okay. And one other advantage that I would like to mention is that with a lighter paper, you have more uh, paper on a roll. So in the direction of yeah, a little bit more sustainable printing, then you can also save on your carbon. Yeah. Let's stop and go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah. So yeah. what kind of extra meterage would you get, I guess, in volume on a ream? Any ideas? You get about 20% uh, extra. Wow, okay. that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's good. considerable. Yes, yeah. and also as Federica just said, and if you look at it from an environmental perspective, yes, of course. Uh, you are transporting more square meters of paper compared to what you did before. Yeah, yeah, so it all yeah. contributes, yeah. and also those customers of ours who print and sell printed paper, yes. they often either sell it by yeah. air yeah. or by shipping. If you, yeah. if yeah. you ship, it, if you ship yeah. it by air, yeah. Uh, then you really, really have to uh, look at the total cost. Mm. Yeah, for them. Yeah, it's considerable, yeah. considerable. Yeah. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Fantastic. Can't wait. I'll have a look at the samples while we're here. Yeah, uh, yeah yes. that's great. Yeah. Thank and you then, so much. And then, of course, much. the other. Sportswear. Yeah. Yes, ah, that's okay. About yes. Oh, I'm moving on too swiftly. Carry on, carry on. I think on. after yeah. this week in Italy, we all need to buy a sportswear, right? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. definitely. Yes. Yeah, yeah, for the sportswear, we, we also see that there's a trend that people are starting to use uh, faster printers and yes. sportswear was traditionally always from plotters and so relatively small yeah. uh, printing. We see more and more that people are going into the semi-industrial machines Yeah. Uh, so this requires a paper which is drying faster, still mm -hmm. has the high transfer yield yeah. but also that customers are starting to use more ink. Okay. Because they want to have these deep colors, you know, the deep black, the deep red. And deeper penetration into the cloth as well. Yeah. Not necessarily yeah. the penetration, but the, 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 the receptive layer of the yeah. ink. 
yeah, the, 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 the pigments, the sublimation ink have to stay on top, yep. and then has to be as, as released as much as possible. As possible yeah. And that's what these two grades do. So one of them is like a straightforward sublimation paper. Okay. The other one has a, uh, a thermal adhesive layer. So you print on the paper, and after you transfer to the to the polyester, it sticks a bit together, and that's often used for people who are sublimating on panels. Sleeves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For yeah. example, for the cycling wear, which has so many different parts and textile mm -hmm. and uh, very, let, we call it like performance textile. Yes. So that yep. could be difficult to print. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Also interesting. It yeah. is, it so is. Many uh, try to, to meet customers' requirements. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Those things came to us some time ago and so we try to react and offer what is required. You know, it's interesting, isn't it? You know, we've all had, you know, there's a lot of water gone under the bridge since 2019. It's been a very challenging time for the industry. But what is so exhilarating here is it's palpable. There are so many innovations. There's a huge positivity within the textile industry towards digitization. And I think a very powerful message for sustainability that we're all, all working on together, wherever we are in the supply chain. Yes. Really. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, one we huge community. We do, yeah. 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 Can't do this on our own, can we? Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you both of you so much for Thank joining us today. Coming. And um, yeah, it's a joy to be here. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very much.